All right, showered, walking down to the, the pub and the restaurant here. Just gonna have a celebratory beer or two. Um, it was a hard walk, um, you know, 1,345 meters, but it's the weather, the conditions going up and down, like it was just as hard going down as it is going up. So if you are gonna do Ben Nevis, I would suggest that maybe doing a couple of the smaller ones first to get accustomed to it because you're using muscles that you don't normally do. But we did a really good time, they said. And, uh, you know, it's very enjoyable. It's a huge accomplishment. So it's a beautiful scenery too on the way down and that didn't get as much pictures as I had because you needed the sticks for balance and that. Um, so if you really want to see some beautiful views, you know come to Ben Nevis like right now it's beautiful when we started out in this morning it was raining when real windy so and then when we came back down it was beautiful and sunny and actually hot so it changes really quick but we have proper gear I had wet pants on and we removed them and rain jackets and gloves and hats you know so you have to be prepared for it so it was a good experience and I recommend you know put that on your bucket list if you want to climb the UK's largest mountain. Well deserved. Very much enjoyable. Just luncheon. Morning everyone, it's Monday the 5th of September. Today we're in the little town of Fort William, which is just at the, not too far from uh, Ben Nevis. We're using the opportunity to stretch the old legs before we take the long ride back to uh, to Dublin. But first we're gonna spend from about 10.30 to 12 noon here, do some shopping. Uh, I myself am looking for a little badge to put on the backpack. Um, also want a little pin to go on a hat and if I can find a decent enough t-shirt. So that's what I'm looking at for. There's lots of little places in uh, for hikers uh, shops in in Port William. Uh, some of the other hikers are looking for uh, boots, some jackets, uh, hiking gears. There's tons and tons of shops, so it's a lot of nice little shops to look around to see what you can find. Um, we're just going to get something to eat a little later, uh, maybe a coffee and some sandwiches to help for the long journey because it's a, we're probably getting about a five hour ride to get to where the ferry is. Then we take the ferry across to Belfast and then from there we drive all the way to Dublin stick around you'll see uh, where I have to stay for the night it's a little bit interesting so stick around and see that please the large uh, hiking store that we were looking for is called Ellis Brigham. Um, there's a few of the lads that we were with uh, looking for some boots and jackets and that. It has uh, everything you want for outdoors and 
reasonable rates and they have a lot of sales going on. So it took us a little while to find it, but uh, it's at the end of the town or the beginning of town, but where you're coming, and it's a standalone building. We stopped by the uh, pasta, and I just say so you know, they had a lot of vegan, like a vegan sausage burger, smoky ham, toast meat, and they had a chicken one. It was really good, uh, vegan chicken uh, barbecue. So it all hit the trick. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. Now we're making our way back. We just stopped, take a break. Traveled about two hours. We're at uh, Loch Lomond. It's a little break area. Nice little view. It's a nice little place. So we're stopped at this little spot for a break of about 45 minutes. There's an old church in front and a little inn. Small little village. We're about an hour away from the ferry. We don't have to book in until half seven. We're supposed to be getting into Belfast at 10 and then walk to then I we make our way down towards them all right so we're at the port we're packed up over there I'm just gonna use the facilities before we get onto the ferry which is over there I think we're supposed to leave at half seven and it's half six right now all right back into the sh ship here's what it looks like they're still all boarding I'll take you up to the deck there later on once we start getting out of the out of the port, heading towards Belfast. So we got a plant base chocolate ice cream. Good. Here's a lot of bread. It's a lot nicer. Free cinnamon over there. Okay, this is us pulling away from Scotland. Even early, a little earlier than planned, so we should be getting into uh, Belfast for, he said, uh, 9:45. So I just got off the taxi, shared a taxi with Maria from the Ashton Hotel, and now we're outside the uh, Jacob's Inn. So 
going to go in and check in. See what the waist looks like. Okay, so I checked in. And then, so I'm in second floor, pod two, 216. Still a little jelly from the climb yesterday. This is very dark in here and there are people sleeping, so I couldn't really show you the castle. But basically they're like coffins facing into the wall. You had to crawl into it and underneath there was a little locker. So it was very cramped and very hard to move around, but it did the trick and it gave me a place to stay for the night. And the rooms were not that bad, I guess. It has an ensuite in it with it. Good morning, everyone. It's uh, 10 to 7. Just wanted to show you what the pot was like. So. Needless to say, it was very cranked, uh, very warm, but fit for purpose. Has a locker in the front, and you know, has the light and that, so it did its job. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too noisy. Um, so for value for money 42 euros is a bit much for a hostel but it is Dublin so it's makes up if it's it's uh, not too too bad uh, the location's good it's right near the train station the bus station and train station um, so it helped me out it was an easy check-in it's a big huge building inside lots of different row of rooms and pods and they have breakfast downstairs available from 7 till at 10 o'clock so all in all i'll say it was a good evening a good night to good way to spend the time and thanks for watching don't forget to like and share and comment okay so just boarded the bus at uh, bus ours the final leg of this weekend's journey to summit the uh, ben nevis mission accomplished it wasn't very easy, but we got there in the end. And now I'm just going to sit back, enjoy the ride for the next two and a half hours, get home and have a well-earned well uh, shower and rest for the day, and get back to work tomorrow. Thanks for watching.